Hello everyone and welcome back once again to Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Last time Chris found his long lost sister inside the Antarctic base and they had a touching re reunion before it was interrupted rudely by Alexia. Now Claire is on her own once again. Let's see what's in store for her until Chris recovers. Hmm, more deja vu. And, just like in the first game, you can push these drawers to reveal weaponry. Okay, what's this? It's locked. You shit. And I like the fact that it's blood spatters everywhere. Just to find details in these games. Ah, grenade rounds. It's good. Hello. Stay down, boy. This guy doesn't want to get up. What is this? An emergency evacuation elevator. Well, obviously, it will only work in an emergency. Bugs everywhere. What's up here? Ah. Uh -huh. You might recognize what's down there. We saw it with Chris. And here is a security release for the linear launcher. Okay. It's locked. Ah. Oh. So the dragonfly won't be necessary for uh, where I thought it would be. So I had to put the cube in it. Okay. Gonna have to edit some videos then. So, back here. Let's see, can I enter any other souls? This is closed. Also closed. But, up the stairs here. What's this? Security file. The Ashford family's most important secret is kept at this lab. As a safety precaution, I have installed a self-destruct device in the control room and have placed the activation code inside the computer. Once inputted, all door locks will be released to provide easy access to escape routes. By using the elevator that directly connects to the hangar, one should be, eas be able to escape from the lab easily. Please remember that I have used the name of my beautiful ancestor for the activation code. Glory to the Ashfords. Alexander Ashford. So you see why I keep confusing Alexia with uh, Veronica. Okay, there's a handle here. Sure, let's turn it. Whoa. Come here, you. So there's a crystal, but it's got something inside. Could obtain the card if you crack it. Well, Claire? Something's here as well. More arrows. Sure, why not? Anything else? 
Even more arrows. Jesus. Something on this guy? No. Okay, so now we have a card. Let's check out this door. What is this? Looks like a prison or something. Aha, uh -huh. card reader on the right. she did on her own father. She's completely insane. What's wrong? Claire, can't breathe. Claire, help me. Oh shit. Looks like the incredible Steve finally became a man. And he now has a strength to lift more than his pants. Oh shit. Get out of here.
Steve, you've got to hang in there, okay? Uh, my brother's come to save us. We're getting out of here. Your brother kept his promise. I'm sorry, I cannot. What? What are you saying? I'm glad that I met you. I... I love you. Claire. Steve? 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 <laughs> At last, I found you, Alexia. Come with me. <laughs> You're responsible for the creation of the T-Veronica virus. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now! You want it? You are not worthy of its power! my best men. I'll let you handle this. Oh, shit. Chris, pick it up. I can see it. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> I 
Okay. We got a problem. Can I go upstairs? Ah, nothing upstairs. Okay. So, looks like I'll have to come back and get Alexia's pendant last. What's that? Another knife. Well, thank you, game. As if I needed one. Jesus. <sighs> okay. Well, crap. Okay, time for some more item management. Well, hello, Alfred. Yes, he's dead, but his finger has got something I need. Time to get back. I'll save you there. The boredom. Okay. We are ready to move on. Now, the bad news is that I, I've realized I didn't keep the empty fire extinguisher with me. Which unfortunately means that I'm fucked. I can't get the, uh, the magnum. Which means we'll have to live without it for now. So time to get back and put the uh, now square valve handle to good use. And remember, was there something in here? The water tank is here, I think. Isn't that right? Right. Now, if I had a fire extinguisher, I could use this to refill it, even though I don't think it works that way. And then go extinguish the fire inside the weapons room and get the magnum. But, since I'm forgetful... Oh well. Time to go see what's down there. Uh huh. Okay, now we can activate the crane. And take out the Nosferatu from the ice. Nosferatu, which is obviously... I think it's become a rather obvious by now that it's Alexia and Alfred's father, Alexander Ashford. Hopefully we'll put him out of his, mis out of his misery permanently. There he is. Hello, Daddy. Oh, there, wait. That's not Daddy. It's a huge ass spider. Okay.
Who could have done this? Yeah, right. Fuck you, spider. Now, where's that earring of his? Now I wonder, should I kill that little bitch? Run, run, Chris, run, go. Oh, the place is full of little spiders now. Fuck. Come at me, bitch. Come on. I got something for you. Shit, go, Chris, go. There we go. How do you like them apples? Chris has got nothing to say about the Nosferatu. Because he doesn't give a shit. What he does care about, though... Is that we do have all we need. To enter that door where we fought Alexia. We have Alexander's piercing. We have Alfred's e ring. And we're gonna go get Alexia's choker. All three are needed to open that door. Hopefully something useful will be behind it. Okay, time to move on and do our job. Alexia's gone, but we do have this. First things first, reload and then the jewel portion can be removed. Which we do, of course. And we have Alexia's jewel. I've already done the same with the other two. And now it's time to put them in their place. Here on this portrait. And see what's hidden behind it. what's behind it. Mm, some kind of monitoring room or a laboratory of some kind. With an elevator. Ah, herbs. Before that, let's go downstairs. Hmm. 
Unfortunately, we can shoot it open. Aha. Okay. Where the wing object? Get the shotgun shells, and we're out of here. Nobody needs handgun ammunition anymore, not even Claire. However, the Duralumin case... ...could prove useful. Oh, it's, an, it's a report. Code Veronica report. After many long years of research, I finally identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. I even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. I then sampled the gene of our great ancestor, manipulated its element, then implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. What I didn't expect was that twins, a boy and a girl, were born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. However, the girl had unmatched, had unmatched intelligence that easily allowed her to be classified as a genius. She was exactly what I had been looking for, the revival of our great ancestor. I already determined their names. The girl's name Alexia, and the boy's name Alfred. I am certain that Alexia will elevate the name of the Ashford family to extreme glory. Alexander Ashford. Well, Alex... It's a shame that things didn't turn out the way you uh, you expected them to. So now this door leads to uh, where Claire was. But before that, I want to check out the rest. Or actually, wait. Yeah, why not? There's an item box there and a place to hang my shotgun. So why not do it? See what we're getting out of that. Ah, flame rounds. something else here. Excellent. Now all that's needed... ...is a dragonfly object. Oh wait, more shotgun shells. Come to daddy. Hmm. For better or worse, I'd better carry those wings with me. Don't want to be running about all the time. Let's check out the other doors and then head back to uh, where Claire was. Nothing here. Hmm, doors. Let's check out this door first. Where are you? Still shuffling about.
Okay. This door first. Only useless books. Wait, what is this? Hmm. Hello. What do we got here? Now, with this, we can open that door that we couldn't. Those double doors at the, uh, at the first floor level of, of the Mock Mansion from Resident Evil 1. Let's see what's here. Gorgeous furnishings. Looks like another room for Alexia. Or is it Alfred? Ah, uh, well, looks like we found out what we need those tiger's eyes for. Well, better get to it. Anything back here? Seems not. Okay, so. First things first. Let's go check up on uh, on Claire before heading back and getting the uh, the tiger size. That's a way, right? Yep. Claire? Chris? No! The door won't open. Hey, is Steve with you? <laughs> Steve, he... <laughs> Listen, Claire. We have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? No, I can't. Chris, there should be a self-destruct system somewhere. If you activate it, all the electronic locks might be deactivated. <laughs> ah. So now, there's only one locked door from here, which needs a dragonfly object. 
Time to go get those tiger's eyes. However, all that in the next part of Resident Evil Code Veronica X. Till then, thank you for watching, like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time. Till then, take care. Bye.